Hi, welcome to today's video. I'm James Della Torre Jr. And I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and configure SSH on a Cisco switch or router through Packet Tracer so you can go ahead and remote access into the, into the switch and router throughout the network. So before, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm in Cisco Packet Tracer where I have a mini network for learning this concept. We have a PC, a switch, and a router all connected with straight through cables. So first we're going to configure the IP address for the PC. Um, we'll go ahead and go to desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.3 and we also want to configure a default gateway so we can access or be able to ping the router. So right there is the configurations for the PC and now we want to go ahead and get a console connection to the router because in a real world, world situation if you had a new piece of equipment you would need a console into that equipment to do the initial configurations then you could actually remote access into them without the console connection so we're going to go ahead and on a regular computer, it'd be a USB port, and then you'd plug it in to the console of the router. So then you go to the PC on Packet Tracer, you go to a terminal. If you're on a, re a real PC, you will get something like PuTTY or TerraTerm to where you can uh, uh, get into the router. So here we are in the terminal, and it's going to ask you, would you like to do the initial configuration dialog? I say no. So we're going to go ahead and configure it ourselves. So we're going to do enable to get to the privilege exec. We're going to configure terminal to get to the global configuration and first we're going to want to configure a host name so we're going to do host name r let's say r1 we also add a banner message of the day so that we can know what we're actually sshing into so let's say uh quote this is a cisco router all right and then we're going to go ahead and go to the interface g00 so we can add this ip address right here so ip address 192.168.1.1 and we have a slash 24 subnet so we're going to do 255 255 255.0 then we're going to enter the no shutdown command <clears throat> which will go ahead and turn this interface to the upstate it's going to go ahead and exit exit right now we're not going to exit okay so now you want to enter the ip domain name i'm going to go ahead and uh, IP domain name. I'm going to go ahead and just put admin and then we're going to go ahead and do username admin secret Cisco secret will automatically encrypt this password on the show run command. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to do enable secret. Let's say uh, Cisco. Obviously in a real real world situation, you wouldn't put these passwords. You would want to put something way more secure. Then let's, we're going to go ahead and do a line console password. So line console zero. We're going to do password class. And then we're going to do login. And since we entered the password command, this is not automatically encrypted. So we're going to go back and do service password encryption. So when you do the show run command, you'll see, you can see that this passwords, all the passwords that we have entered are encrypted or you, and you won't be able to see them with plain text so the next thing that we are going to go ahead and do is generate a uh, rsa key so we're going to do crypto gen or key gen rsa this will go ahead and generate <clears throat> rsa key the higher number you put the bigger the key is going to go ahead and be so i'm gonna put 1024 and then we're going to put the command ipssh version 2 i don't i think this is an optional command but we're going to go ahead and enter that anyways which will go ahead as you guys can see we have a syslog message that says ssh 1.99 has been enabled and now we want to actually allow uh, the connections to go through the virtual line so we're going to do line vty 015 which is all the vt uh, all the virtual terminal lines then we're going to do transport input ssh and then we're going to do the command login local if you do just the login command i believe you won't be able to use a username only a password but login local makes it so that you can put a username and a password to log in so now that we have that configured let's go ahead and go back to our pc1 go to command prompt and we're going to issue a ping command to see if we can even talk to the router so let's see ping one one dot one there we go so we have a ping connection so we're going to do ssh minus l which means we are going to log in with a username and then we're going to put admin and then the ip address of the router 1.1 1 
and then as you guys can see we have a password boom and then we have the uh this is the cisco router so we know we are actually in the router so we don't even need this uh console uh the console connection anymore because we are now we now have remote access to the router so yes yeah, so you can do enable cisco and now we are in the router so that is how you configure the router the switch is pretty similar there's a few extra steps but i'll go ahead and show you guys what those are so let's go back to the terminal and get into the switch <clears throat> so we're going to do enable configure t and then we're going to do host name s1 banner message of the day quotations this is a cisco switch boom and then next command we're going to put in is uh we're going to go to the interface vlan one and then we're going to put the ip address so that we can ssh into it so we have the 1.2 so we go 192.168.1.2.255.255.255.0 we do no shut down all right and then now we are going to go back and configure the password so we're going to do enable secret cisco and then we're going to do line console zero password cisco we're just going to put cisco for all these passwords you normally will not want to make all these passwords the same but if you're doing labs on packet tracer and not doing using real equipment these are appropriate passwords let's do exit and then we have we're going to do a username uh, let's see admin secret cisco and then we're going to do the service password encryption so that it encrypts the console password. And then you want to do IP domain name. We're going to just put admin. And then the next command we're going to put in is crypto key generate RSA. So all of this is the same so far. And then IP SSH version two. And then now we're going to go ahead and go to the VTY lines, line VTY 015, transport, input SSH, login local. So all the same as the router. And here is the two different commands you have to put. So first, you obviously have to put the IP address on the VLAN, which normally you don't put many IP addresses on uh, layer two switches. Normally, all the only reason would be for SSH. So now we want to go ahead and say what the default gateway of the switches which is the router so we're going to issue the command ip default gateway 192.168.1.1 so now we should be able to ssh into the switch so let's try to go ahead and get rid of this console connections get rid of the console connection boom all right let's get into the pc command prompt ping 192.168.1.2 let's see let's see should be one dropped packet all right now we want to issue the command ssh minus l admin 192.168.1.2 password cisco and now we see this is a cisco switch so we know that we are actually in the switch let's do cisco password and now we should actually be able to SSH from the switch into the router as well. So let's go ahead and do SSH minus L admin 192.168.1.1. All right, Cisco. And now you can see we are in the Cisco router through the switch. So let's exit out of there. And let's see if we can go from the router to the switch. So we could do SSH minus L admin. 192.168.1.1. So now we are in the Cisco router through the PC. And then password Cisco. Let's do SSH minus L admin 192.168.1 or yeah, 1.2. Which now we are in the router trying to SSH into the switch. All right, so password Cisco. This is a Cisco switch. So as you guys can see, we can now SSH into all of the devices on this mini network on packet tracer so hopefully this video helped you out understand how to configure ssh on cisco packet tracer thank you guys for watching this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if this helped you guys out comment down below how i can make these videos better how um what you liked about them what you disliked about them and yeah so thank you guys for watching this video
I'll see you guys next time and see you later.